I recently went back to playing some games that I didn't get a chance to play when I was younger, and believe me, there was a bunch of them. Some were role-playing games, strategy games, and action games. This is one of them I wish I got the chance to play when it first came out. Alien Soldier came out for the Genesis, or Mega Drive for those who live across the pond, and it was created by Treasure. This is the same company that created the cult favorite Gunstar heroes, and like Gunstar, this is a side-scrolling running gun shooter. The story is a little long, so I'll do my best to summarize it. You are Epsilon, former leader of the criminal organization Scarlet. You were attacked by special forces and had to hide the body of a young boy with paranormal powers. The new leader, Z Tiger, sends Epsilon and demands that he reveal himself. Epsilon did not. Tiger took a girl hostage. The boy's power level reached over 9,000 and he became Epsilon Eagle. Tiger said, oh shit, and killed the girl and fled. Now you're in pursuit of Tiger and the rest of your former Scarlet members. Got that? Good. This game has 25 levels and over 25 bosses. Unlike other running gun shooters, the levels in this game are not very long, and most of the game's focus is on the boss battles. Graphically, this game is very good. The characters are large and detailed. The display for your status is easy to read, and there's very few clipping issues. The sound is good with pulsing beats that really fit the fast-paced action in the game. There are voice clips in the game, but their quality is a little low, but it's okay since there's not really much of it. Now here's the meat of the game, the gameplay. As I said, this is more like a modified boss rush mode, and it really works well for this game. There are two difficulties to this game, super easy and super hard, but it's more like normal and hard. The controls are intuitive with A bringing up your weapons ring, and you use left and right to cycle through them, and press A again to select it. If you press down in A, you can change to firing mode, which truly allows you to run and gun. B is to fire. And by double tapping B, you can create a burst of energy that will either make your enemy's shots into energy or reflect them back at them. C is to jump, and this is pressure sensitive. Press it again in mid-air to hover. Hold down and press C and it'll allow you to do the zero teleport, an important move in this game which can also be used while hovering. Also you can hang on the ceiling by jumping towards it and it does it automatically. You can use the zero teleport on the ceiling as well. You have six weapons to choose from, but you can only have four slots in your weapon ring. It's best to use a variety of weapons to help quickly take out the enemies. Since this game is mostly contained with boss fights, and with over 25 there isn't a shortage, it's really good that the levels are really short. There's unlimited continues, and there's also a simple password system so it makes it very easy to pick up and play. Now, not everything in this game is great. This is a one player game, so it does lose the potentially good co-op play. There's also some instances where you're in a position where it makes it impossible to win, but those are few and far in between. Overall, this is a very good title, and since it's on the virtual console for 800 points, it's definitely worth it. If you're a fan of running gun shooting, and you've played Gunstar Heroes till the game bursts into flames, then give this game a go. The pros, fast and smooth gameplay, great graphics and good music. The cons, voice clips aren't that good, only one player and sometimes you'll end up in a no-win scenario. As you can see, the cons of this game are very minor. So what are you waiting for? Go out and get the game. Well, that's all for today. Later days.